And then we've got the accounts receivable, which is a good example of an accrual type of account, meaning uh, it's an account that deviates from a general cash basis, meaning it has some transactions in it that have nothing to do with cash. Like an invoice doesn't have any cash involved, but we still need it if we're in the type of company that has to track accounts receivable. That would be one where we do the work first and we got to bill the client or send them an invoice, receive the payment, and then uh, make the deposit. Now, clearly the accounts receivable is a lot less chaotic. It goes up with an invoice. It goes down with a payment. We've done two months. That's all you see here. That's all you're going to see in the accounts receivable generally. The accounts receivable has the subsidiary reports tracking the information not only by uh, date, which is what that transaction detail like a general ledger did, but also we need to track it by customer.